All right, here's an update video. Uh, I had the first start video put up, and after doing some checking around of everything, it was leaking oil out of the front still, and this is a good tip for anybody doing the plus T thing here to a Volvo. The uh, 3.8 pipe thread does not work in the block down here. It's actually a British pipe thread. Let me see if I can zoom in on what I'm talking about. The fitting down there that I used to go in the block has to be the British pipe thread. It, 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 it appeared that it was going to work with the other 3 8 pipe thread, but it leaked. And that's what was causing all my oil issues. And the transmission line, the front transmission line, was loose for the, for the, uh, the cooler at the transmission, so I had to crawl under there and get that. But that should now be all of the leaks taken care of. Um, here's my primitive awesome wrench that was sawed up and ground and whatnot to fit on the, the uh, fitting down there in the block. But here's an update since the motor was pulled out, everything was clean, stuff was painted. Um, here's how my PCV system is hooked up. This again is going into the oil separator and then that has the crossover line right there that's into the block plate and that goes into this catch can and then just epoxied in a, a little elbow here in the pre intake or the pre turbo intake pipe and post mass airflow sensor so that's cool pulling good vacuum out of the crankcase get the pressure out um, but everything's been cleaned up, the block's been painted and everything. You can see that in my other video, or other videos. I still need to get an idle air control uh, hose made up a little better. This one, when I cut it to, to the right size as I was putting on it, split. And I had to cut a little short, so I'm going to have to go back and get another hose. Um, this was just made up from piping I had laying around. Just something so I could have a, a nipple on the intake or the charge pipe here for the IAC. Also, another thing to note: when this is pulled apart, uh, the when the throttle was all the way open, the throttle blade wasn't actually open the whole way. So fixed that while it was on the bench and could see what was going on. Adjusted this linkage here, and then in the first startup video, that since we messed with it, there's a, a set screw down under here that uh, adjusts how far open the throttle blade is so it idles the right RPM and then you saw me mess with this, this is a little blue wire this goes on the positive, that's a temporary fan hookup until I can run a switch in the car <clears throat> so there it is I'm going to start driving it. I'm going to do some other things to it. Um, I do want to cut the springs. It sits really, really high. Much too high. But, I'll shut the hood here and you can actually, it actually looks like a car again. This is, don't mind my fancy pink work light. So there it is. And as I do some other things here, I'll take some video. I have some gauges I want to put in the car yet. Um, I want to put at least oil pressure, water temperature, and a volt gauge in there. Um, and I will be relocating the boost gauge. <laughs> that's just that's just there temporary, so I can see what's going on. But there's an update and. I'll keep you update or keep you posted on what's going on with this one and then the 242 tonight I went out I have a 6AL2 box I'm going to put in this has a two step and then these fun little guys uh, this is a it's like a fuse takeoff here 12 volts goes to this top post and then you have six fused leads you can take so I'm going to make up a nice plate, I want to mount, you know, like uh, the MSD box and these fuse blocks. I got some new wire to run in from the battery, but I'll get some video of that. Uh, I really want to try out the two-step. 
and see if it's going to help get that turbo going. So, that's it for now.